church with washing strung between the balconies. What's the explanation? A surprising one. It provides a home for men discharged from prison who have nowhere else to go. They sleep and eat in the church and thus have an address. Ex-prisoners with no fixed abode, that harsh legal phrase, can get neither job nor public assistance. The Reverend Bertram Peake, minister of Goulburn Road Free Congregational Church, was perturbed when he heard rumour that Kensington Council might raise his rates because he was sheltering the men. In official eyes, it amounted to using the church as a hostel. Yet, from earliest times, churches always afforded sanctuary and rest for the unfortunate. Leaving prison, this man, like so many, had nowhere to go, only a shilling or two in his pocket. But he had the luck to be met by a friend, offering to take him to the Goulburn Road Church. Aid at just the right time helps the lame dog over the stile. And the sort of help so many ex-prisoners need is available here. The friendly parson was on hand to welcome the new arrivals. Little had one of them thought, when the jail door closed behind him, that an hour later he'd be in a church. The men inside don't think much about angels from heaven, but the Reverend Bertram Peake must have seemed like one. This is Ed, and uh, what is your name? Uh, Duncan, sir. Duncan, and your name? Sunshine Jones. Sunshine Jones is a nice name. Well, this is a place, and I would say there's a bed there, and uh, a meal. You can stay here as long as you like, and it won't cost you anything. But what is your objective? Well, in the meantime, I'm looking for a job and uh, looking for somewhere to stay. Mm -hmm. Two men living at the church have become engaged. They've got jobs and have shared the burden of the unhappy past. Meanwhile, the borough has no intention of raising the church rates. Indeed, one councillor was so impressed by the good work he brought the church some clothing, and very welcome it was. The parson often holds a little Bible class before the men turn in. He knows that most of them never cared a hang for religion before. Now they're glad of it as a comfort and guide to the new experience of going straight. And when they eat together, the Reverend Bertram Peake says grace, a prayer some of them had never heard before they found refuge here at the church. The old saying that God helps those that help themselves was never truer than in this day and age, nor does it apply to any men more strongly than to this little flock. And the Reverend Peake, a practical Christian, is careful to point it out. Now, some of you chaps have been here quite a time. You have jobs and you're getting on your feet. This alone justifies our work here. I'm sure that you newcomers can do the same. After that, it's up to you. May God bless you, and us in our efforts. Thank you.